hey guys this is my update slash was supposed to be a fill video for my gelish poly gel and um, I was removing my nail polish from this nail I was going to show you the fill on this nail since I have re I have filled the other nails and um, while I was taking the polish off the nail came off so I'm going to have to sculpt the nail again if you did not see my previous video I am using the gelish poly gel natural clear sheer and I got this in a kit which included the gel uh, gel the slip solution the little thingy the little black thing that goes on top of the tube to squeeze the gelish um, poly gel out and also the um, the little tool where you can scrape off what you need how much whatever size bead you need of poly gel and it also comes with a cover a case for your for your little tube tool here so I got all of that for $58 off of eBay if you're interested. I will not be using the gel um, slip solution. I will just be using um, a little bit of alcohol. I have put the, in my Dappen dish and I have found that the alcohol works very well. I have seen others use alcohol which I am so glad they have told us because the slip solution for me is the scent of it. It smells good, but it smells good for a minute. Uh, it actually bothers me after a while. So I guess for a fill, um, it's okay. But like if you're sculpting um, and have to smell it for a while, um, it just doesn't work for me. But the update on this is that I love this um, gel. I didn't love it at first, but it has worn very well. When I needed a fill, you couldn't even tell I needed a fill. Like around the cuticle area, I couldn't tell anything. Um, I knew I needed a fill, but only because it had been almost three weeks, um, so I did a fill. I could have easily worn this for probably another week, maybe two weeks. Um, so it wears very, very well and my nails are not that thick. Um, they're thick right now because I have not finished them, especially on, on my left hand. They're thicker and I tend to make the middle nail on my left hand a little bit thicker. I tend to break this one all the time, every time because it never fails or crack, chip it or whatever. So I tend to make this one a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, I'm, they're shiny because I have just put um, a base coat on them. I have not really finished them. I just did the fill and that was it. I, there's no uh, gel top coat or anything on them. So I'm not quite done with the fill actually on all of them. But so I'll finish that later and file them down later with my e-file. Get a little bit of that thickness out. But yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the fill I mean I'm um, sculpt this nail out and I'll show you um, parts of that and then I'll show you the finished results at the end so let's get started is when you uh, file this poly gel it is so fine the dust is so fine please make sure that you wear a mask or if you have a nail dust fan 
turn that on because the dust from this poly gel is just ridiculous um, it is just so important to protect your face and your eyes um, it's just terrible so that's one uh, downside to this whole product uh, with regular gel I don't get that I don't get that whole fine dust I mean you should cover your mouth and your nose anyway but with this really really cover uh, make sure you protect yourself because um, who knows what this theft will do to your lungs so yeah I just wanted to make sure I include that so I did all the filing and everything off camera because uh, you know it's no need to film all of that but it looks pretty good let me see if I can get a little bit closer for you guys without my camera going fuzzy so yeah it looks pretty good I'm happy with it um, so yeah as you can see it blends very well into the cuticle it looks pretty natural to me anyway um, I didn't make them I didn't make it long I'm really not um, making them long if as they grow out I tend to file them down a little bit but I just tend to keep them shorter because as they grow longer then I tend to crack or break them so I just keep them at this length this is long enough for me at this time but yeah so now I will uh, probably remove the top coat that I have on the others and go ahead and file them and um, put a gel top coat on the rest and then move on with a design and that will be in another video so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye